I was a great panel, and I think uh, we had a lot of complementary components to the questions of force and, and climate change. Um, I think everybody recognized that we made a lot of advances in protecting forests and recognizing the role of forests. Um, there are important questions about uh, how do you maintain the economic viability of forest conservation uh, and how you bridge, I think, uh, commodity markets that draw on forest resources also to the benefits of the communities and populations living around forests. So, um, it, was a, it was a great panel because it was forward-looking, um, but also recognizing that uh, we have to overcome some of the structural issues that have limited, I think, our success, not only in conserving forests, but in making forests also a venue of development. Yeah, embedded, uh, in the panel, there were a lot of different research questions, right? And I think some of the research questions have to do with political economy questions. So how do markets function? And how do forest products and local populations enter into global markets? There are many research elements of that that we need to consider. There's another very important set of research questions related to uh, landscapes. So how do we move from segmented view of sectors or types of government arrangements to uh, a view of the interlinkage between governance systems and property regimes and how do we bridge the different rights that people have in terms of use uh, resources in general so that's a that's another segment um, there are many questions about um, about how do we incorporate small farmers in that case or, or forest dwellers uh, into, into, the, into a more active economy or sustainable economy. And there are several research questions related to that. You know, so that, there are some underlying questions about social change. Those communities are changing. We don't understand how they're changing. The use in those communities are changing a lot and we still assume and when we talk about local communities and indigenous communities, we still have a view and a vision of them that uh, is quite uh, romanticized and distant from reality. So there are a lot of that social scientists can, can bring. There's one underlying issue about research that I think you know, speaks to everybody there, that you know, we live, and I mentioned my talk, we live in the spirit of accelerated changes. And, uh, most of our disciplines are not uh, able to deal with that and to deal how that transcends the domains that we've been trained to do. So a lot of the research questions there have to do with how do we think about linking local level to regional level, linking sectors, how do we um, uh, understand complexity and interconnectedness, uh, which our research tools are very limited to do. So it's quite an exciting agenda, I think.